everyone hey so on the last video not the watermelon video but the one from last Saturday her and I planted some moldy okra seeds now of course she was behind the camera at the time so she wasn't really in the video she was in the blooper video though if you all saw the blooper video I'll put that right here <laughs> so I have an update on the okra seeds so before we go and check them out though I have a question for her. What do you think? Do you think they grew, or do you think they did not grow? All right, so she said she thinks they grew. I had no idea what they would do. I heard from my mom that she thought there was no chance in the world they would grow. Um, but, <laughs> y'all, this is amazing. Let's go check it out. to invite everyone to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that little bell so you're always notified check out the facebook and instagram pages down home backyard gardening share like and comment if you feel inclined to do so okay so we're going to do a recap real quick on exactly what i'm talking about in case you all didn't see that video here's a recap what i wasn't expecting was this some of the pods have mold on them and what i was going to do is just throw these away but why maybe the moldy seeds can still grow i don't know but if you look inside right here i don't know if we can get this on the film the seeds these seeds have mold on them so here's what i want to do or here's my question to you all i'm going to plant these moldy seeds and see if they'll grow reason being is why get rid of seeds if they're viable, even if they have mold on them. I don't know if the growing process will get rid of that mold or this is just a big waste of time, but you know what we're gonna do here on Down Home Backyard Gardening? <laughs> we're about to find out. So I'm gonna plant some seeds out of this moldy pod and seeds out of one of these healthy pods in this bucket that we just took the onion experiment out of because obviously the soil is very healthy and we're gonna see which ones grow. And create two trenches here. The trench with the stick will be the moldy trench. Ew. So, so we're gonna put four. Well, this one's a really, really moldy one, so we'll put that one in too. Okay, so we have five moldy okra seeds right there. Then we're gonna take five of these healthy ones. And we're gonna put those on the, and there we have it. The moldy seeds and the non moldy seeds, the, the normal seeds. Okay, so as we're walking up to where I put the challenge, let's see if Darian sees it. Huh? Where'd I put the okra? Okay. <laughs> see what's growing? Is that the moldy ones? Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. If you remember from the recap, I put the moldy seeds right between these two posts. As you can see, the moldy seeds have grown. And the normal seeds, or the seeds that I thought would grow, have not. So what does that say? To me it says, hey, if you think it'll grow, plant it. Because I really didn't have a, slight, a clue what would happen. I, I did not expect the moldy seeds to grow at all. I thought there was no chance and she thought they would grow so she was right and she even started doubting herself unbelievable but hey if you have an idea go for it like i said in the last video if something in your gut says do it then do it that, that's my advice to everybody have fun in gardening don't limit yourself in any way shape or form and uh yeah as you can see the moldy seeds grew Okay, everyone, so hey, I'm going to do another little bit to this video real quick. As Darren and I are standing here trying to get out of this heat, uh, at the end of the last video, I said that I had found two more watermelons after I finished filming. I actually, just now, as we're standing here talking, found another one. So I have seven watermelons going out here, whereas last year I didn't have, but I only had two the whole year. So let me show those real quick. Okay, everybody, 
how did we miss that on the last video? I have no idea, but that's a watermelon. So I'm gonna to have to adjust this vine so it's more on the ground, okay? And then another one that I found is another hanging one right there. Got a tomato that's about to be ripe. In fact, I'll go and just, I'll just go and take that one off. Heck yeah, August is still getting tomatoes. Okay everyone, so that was it. I wanted to do a real fast video here, do an update on that okra seed, the moldy okra seeds. Again, I'm absolutely shocked that they grew. Wanted to show some more of the watermelons that I found because I'm telling y'all, put it in the soil. Don't put your oil though, because oil will not break down. It takes a long time to break down oils. So don't put oils in, but put everything else in. Just make sure you bury it. That's my advice. The rest of today, all I'm gonna be doing is harvesting okra, start trying to pickle them, see what I can do there. Maybe I'll throw a video out if I can get this process down really good. In fact, if you all would like to see that kind of a video, drop it in the comments for me, let me know. All right, everybody, shine bright, harvest hard. Bye. Oh wait, no, I don't like it backwards like that. Hold on, I need, I need something. All right, there we go. Your mom? I guess it's your mom, I don't know. All right, everyone, hey. And other than that, y'all, hey, shine bright, harvest hard. Bye. <laughs> so I'm gonna do shine bright, harvest hard. You say bye and then pop the camera. Okay? Mm. Or I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I'll, no, uh, hold on. Why is that right there? Why is what right here? Rock. Well, baby, it's hidden now. Right. Do you see all the bees in here? Do you think I'm going to reach in there right now? There are bees everywhere. Like, this is nuts. So, hey, everybody. What? I want to get out of the sun. I'm dying. I was going to say, probably because nobody else has gardens now. All they have is food.